All right, everybody. So we're about to start our first project using Tinkercad. Um, this project, you're going to be designing and implementing a keychain. I don't care what you put on it, as long as it's school appropriate, but we're going to basically build that entire process. Now, <clears throat> the first thing that we have is all these different shapes we can choose. Generally, keychains tend to be flat. So we've got to pick something with a flat surface on it, either a box or a cylinder. I'm going to get fancy and do a cylinder. So I'm going to drop the cylinder down. And now we look at it, this doesn't look like a very good keychain. So a couple things I probably need to do is, well, let's lower the size of it a little bit. Uh, let's make it five. And then let's stretch out one side of it. So it'll kind of look like one of those disc keychains. Uh, it'll be elongated. And yeah, we can start designing from there. So there's a lot of different things we can do. We can cut out items. We can set up a ring for the key ring. Um, lots of different stuff. So let's just kind of build a general model of it. So I'm going to take my cylinder. I'm going to hold shift. And I'm going to shrink this down. Uh, I'm going to make this a pretty small ring. I'm going to actually make this three. No, no, four by four sounds good. And then just in case this is too low as a hole, I'm going to raise it up. And we'll make it six, make it stand up a little bit. All right, we can bring this guy over. We can drag it so it looks like it's nice and centered. That does not look very centered, so I'm going to just zoom in a little bit. I'm going to use my arrow keys. Now, does this need to be perfect? No, but it should be somewhat nice, right? We want to make this as uh, evenly spaced out as possible. And then I'm going to fuse these two guys together. And there we go. We have the first start of our keychain. Now, this is not perfect by any means, but it looks pretty nice for now. We can add some things to it. We can add some designs, some logos, some objects to it. We can pretty much do whatever we want to the keychain. So I don't really know what I want to put into this. So I'm just going to bring up the word text, and hopefully the inspiration will come to me by the time um, you know, we are ready to start typing this in. So uh, I don't know. Why don't we just put in my name? A little big. So why don't we shrink that down a little bit? Keep going, keep going. There we go. That looks a little more presentable on it. All right, and. I'm going to just try to position this somewhere where I feel comfortable with it. That looks pretty good, right? I don't know. It looks like a keychain so far. Um, I can do things such as play around with the size of it. Uh, we can change the text. I want to make this a hole, though, right? And then we're going to fuse it together. Now, I'm not done with this, but so far, it looks like I was able to like put some text into it. The only thing that really concerns me is, well, Look right here. Uh, right here, I have two different pieces of plastic that aren't going to stick to anything. And it can't just magically float there. And now, look, the A has the same thing. There's a lot of ways to solve this. Uh, so I'm just going to scroll back up, zoom out a little bit, give myself a little space, and let's drag out another box. This box is going to be shrunk down, like way down to like two. And then we're going to make it a really narrow box. And we're also going to shrink this a little bit as well. All right, so that's a little tiny like uh, support brick that we're going to be building. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to align it here. We're basically going to make like a bridge that goes across to it. And we're going to see if we can connect both of these parts of the letter B together inside of our keychain. All right, so now I look around. It's lower, so it'll still be visible that it's the letter B, but there's some sort of support put into it. So let's fuse those together, see what that looks like. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but it looks good enough. If you have another way that you want to try to solve that problem, obviously you want to take a look at that. We're going to repeat the same process over here. All right, so... Trying to make this work out well. I got a little sloppy with reforming it. Bring it back to two. And I'm going to try to place this on here. I think that'll look OK. Uh, hopefully it will. If not, we can always remove the bridging or make it smaller or lower or thinner or whatever else we want to do. 
And looking at the letter B over here, I think I kind of need to do that. So I'm going to ungroup these items. I'm going to ungroup it again. There we go. Click until I have that selected. And let's just make that a little bit thinner so it just, just looks a little bit nicer. And while we're at it, I think this guy could also stand to be shrunk. And if you're thinking, oh, the one millimeter isn't enough, well, we could always make it 1.5 if we wanted to, and that would also work quite well. But I think that I'm actually happier with the one. All right, so we have these bridges, and now they're both in the same grouping action. So I'm going to highlight everything and group it. And I've made, oh, look, it shifted to red. That's cool. It made the keychain that looks pretty darn nice. Change the color. Uh, you know, we're also able to pick whichever color we want. And we've also got a little bit of gap stuff here. So I want to put, like, something into this, right? I don't want to make this something that's, like, just okay. I'd like to make something that's really cool, uh, make it look interesting. You know, just, I don't know, try to toss in something that looks uh, of interest. So I'm seeing a diamond here. Uh, let's, let's get fancy. Let's make this look really, really cool. So maybe I want to take this, I want to shrink it down a little bit, rearrange it, uh, even so we can notice that the bottom part of that diamond, right, that little bottom piece, I'm going to drop it into here, so it just makes like a little diamond raised up here. Oof, look how sloppy that is though, I need to shrink that down some more. All right, let's move it a little bit over to the edge. So instead of it actually being a diamond, we're more like fusing just a cool little raised pattern onto it. Let's fuse it together. Oh, we're snapping back to all these different colors. You can see the steps as it refuses and puts it all together. And then what I'd like to do is I think I want to take a star and I want to shrink this down even more. All right, maybe I want to make this guy taller because we're going to make this a hole. And let's see if we can drop this into the diamond shape. Uh, just, I don't know, it looks kind of cool, it looks neat. That actually looks pretty good. I think I uh, perfectly centered it. Ah, no, I didn't perfectly center it, but it does look pretty good. Um, we can try to move it. That's moving too much, so let's shrink down our movements, down to 0.25. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to fuse that piece together. And now we have a pretty cool-looking uh, keychain. You know, it's got my name on it. You can put whatever you want on this as long as it's school appropriate. If you need help finding designs or logos, we can try to find them and implement them into our uh, 3D models and really try to build some cool stuff. So uh, your assignment for this is you're going to be making three different versions of your keychain, right? You're going to make a different variation on it. So I have this first one made. I'm going to go back and go through all those processes and make a second one and a third one. Uh, the reason why we're doing that is when you send them in or when you start to print them, it's always good to have like an alternative model or something that's different that looks uh, unique or you know something like that because if your first one doesn't come out very good, well at least you have some backups that are ready to 3D print and set into motion. Now am I done with this? I don't think I am. There's some cool stuff that can be, still be done on this. You know I could jump in and I don't know, let's grab, um, let's grab a heart. All right, I'm going to shrink that down a bunch. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to take this box. I'm going to show you a little trick. We're going to get a little fancy with this. Shrink this down to five like it was before. Uh, shrink the size of it. You might have an idea of what I'm doing already if you've ever uh, you know played around with like stylized text and things like that so I'm gonna fill in the eye and we're gonna fuse all those together so now oh, the eye is missing a dot well that's where the heart comes in I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit more I'm gonna raise the height of it and I'm gonna put a hole in it or make it a hole sorry and we're gonna grab it and we're gonna put it right here. So now when I fuse this together, instead of having a dotted eye, well now I have a heart on there. And I think that looks pretty neat. Um, it's got my name on it, nice little heart logo. I put a little diamond raised section over here. It's got a star cut out of it. 
I think this looks like a pretty cool uh, keychain. You know, it's so when you get a car, when you start driving, house keys to the house, whatever it is you have, this is ready to be attached to it. And it's nice to have a piece of uh, like identifying key ring or information on there for you. Uh, just in case someone finds your keys, they at least know your first name. You could even make it a whole contact card. You know, you could make it a whole system where you have all of your information printed out on it. All right. So once you've created your three designs, uh, I'm just going to clone this. Um, you are obviously going to be creating different designs, but for the most part, this looks uh, pretty, pretty good for the example we're going to do. So when I'm ready to send these and hand them in, uh, and if you're just watching this on my YouTube channel, don't worry about the next steps. This is just how you'll be handing it in as one of my students. You can click on the item. You're going to click on Export. And it's going to bring up a pop-up. Say, well, how would you like to export it? And I'm going to put it into a .stl file. When I click on that, you'll notice at the bottom, it'll prepare it, and it will send it out. We'll click on the next one, Export, STL, and it will send it out at the bottom. And it'll keep doing that for all three of them. Then when you get to Google Classroom, I just want you to upload these three files to me so I can inspect them. Um, if you want to tell me which one you'd prefer me to try to print first, obviously I will uh, try to emphasize on that. But if not, I will print the one that I think is going to be most uh, successful or most uh, you know, usable and enjoyable. All right. Now, with these 3D prints, this is not the end of building the keychain. If you want to get real fancy, you can do some pretty neat stuff with it. Like you can, and I'm going to just show you a little section on here. If you want to get super fancy, you can make some text. So we'll take that. I am going to rotate it forward facing. All right. And then we are going to shrink this text. Wait. Oop. There we go. Keep shrinking, keep shrinking. There we go. I probably should have moved it first, so I'm just going to use my arrows. I am going to put in my last name. And I'm going to do some real fancy stuff. All right. We need to raise this so it's at zero. So it's kind of like uh, flush with that. And I'm going to shrink this a little bit more. All right. And it is going to be attached there. Let's, let's raise it a little bit, just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to make it a hole. So now I have my last name being pressed into this keychain. And I do want to make sure it goes all the way in with uh, extending it. So maybe I'll add it just a little bit more in depth. We don't want it to collide with the name or the any other stuff on here. But now if I fuse this, you can see that I have my name attached to it, but then I have my last name kind of like branded or embedded into the side of the keychain. So you can do a lot of neat stuff with this. You can get very creative with it. You can put, uh, piece it all together. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different things that we can do in terms of, uh, you know, just like making this be personalized and look like ours. All right. So uh, with that in mind, make sure you complete three of them because we want to get some experience with it and we move it into other types of projects. These are the type of things that are going to really stand out. And the more you learn and the better you get at it now, the more happy you're going to be with your end results. So hopefully you enjoy this. Uh, we'll be printing them out. And again, if you're my student, you're going to get a copy of your uh, keychain sent. So you can make a keychain for yourself. You can make it for a loved one. You can make it for friends, family, neighbors. You could even make a keychain that attaches to your dog's collar. So, you know, a little keychain on it that has the information on it in case your dog is lost or something. So hopefully you enjoy building this, and if there's any questions, you know how to ask them.